Welcome to the Lipis Report. Hi, I'm Nick Lippis from the Lippis Report, and I'm here at Ixia's ISIM City to test Cisco's flagship Catalyst 6500, Enterprise Ethernet Switch, to stress all of the new features and performance improvements of its latest massive upgrade with the Supervisor Engine 2T. Well, switching performance in enterprise networks has become increasingly important as IT responsibility has been split between employees and IT departments, thanks to BYOD, or bring your own device, and IT consumerization. As a result, the number of devices in the network have increased significantly as employees bring smartphones and other mobile devices into the workforce. These devices and their applications are driving unforeseen network requirements in terms of performance and also support for IPv4 and v6 as many mobile devices are now set for IPv6 as a default. For IPv4 and 6, dual stack implementations are most popular where desktops and mobile devices run both stacks, therefore the network infrastructure needs to support both equally at high performance. IPv6 performance though has not been on par with IPv4 until now. To demonstrate how the Catalyst 6500 upgrade with Supervisor 2T has improved IPv6 performance, we'll measure IPv4 and v6 in both unicast and bi-directional traffic performance via RFC 2544. For IPv4 traffic over MPLS, we measured throughput via RFC 2544, and the Catalyst 6500 achieved the performance we expected and is thus verified. For IPv6 over MPLS traffic, we measured throughput via RFC 2544 and the Catalyst 6500 achieved the performance we expected. We compare IPv4 to IPv6 over MPLS performance and verify that the Catalyst 6500 delivers IPv6 performance on par with IPv4, noting that IPv6 headers are nearly four times larger than IPv4. So now we're going to shift to IP multicast. Uh, IP multicast traffic has been on the rise thanks to the increased use of video services within the enterprise. Efficient use of multicast is important to interactive video, video surveillance, video dissemination, and other kinds of traffic like that. Consider 500 to 1,000 video surveillance cameras that need to stream their video to five or more locations within the enterprise, perhaps for regulation, storage, monitoring, etc. Well, this is a popular requirement in gaming, retail, healthcare, and other industry segments. So think of it, streaming five video streams per camera consumes a lot of bandwidth. Therefore, using IP multicast will reduce bandwidth consumption, making video and other point-to-multipoint -point services much more efficient. Therefore, we test IP multicast performance on the new Catalyst 6500 Supervisor 2T. We tested IP multicast via RFC 3918 and point to multipoint with one source broadcasting to 91 receivers. For a more real world multicast scenario, we configured the Catalyst 6500 from multipoint to multipoint, creating a mesh of multicast traffic tested via RFC 3918. We did this by configuring the Catalyst 6500 with 13 sources broadcasting to 86 receivers, creating overlapping streams of multicast traffic to each receiver. Multicast is increasingly being consumed on desktop computers in bulk, with users watching a CEO presentation while a stock ticker runs across their screen while a CNBC window runs as well. We find that the replication engine that is resonant on the Catalyst 6500 line card delivers multicast performance in scale, as there is no performance penalty for point to multipoint and multipoint to multipoint. We observe no packet loss and minimal latency difference between the two. Well, that concludes this test. I just want to thank you all for watching. That concludes this edition of the Lipis Report. Thank you for joining us. Look for us every Tuesday and Thursday. To get your free subscription to the Lipis Report newsletter, go to www.lipisreport.com. 
To sponsor the Lippus Report podcast, send email to sales at We've got to go, and so do you. See you next time.